Hey, hi everyone, welcome to this game of Uprising. So I'll be posting this full video. Um, playing in 4th position. 4th position, uh, most of the time you just pick the strongest leader. I think they remove 2 leaders. Strongest leader is probably is Gurney. Uh, no, I'll just pick Gurney. Um, I think Gurney is strong enough that you, know, you just slam him most of the time. Um, cards in the road that are significant. Uh, the special operative is really good and good spy. <coughs> These are the, are the two favorites. The the rest don't really you don't really care about high council Eriki not not really significant. Um. So one thing about Gurney that you don't really like you don't like to see both. Faction round one. Uh, uh not really Gurney issue, but it's more like a fourth position um thing. Like when we're playing in fourth position, you kinda wanna play two, but but if you look at the number of faction spaces, there are only five available and two of them are very competitive. I don't really want either of those. Um, I could triple deploy, get guild spy. Um, if I trash this, I have three to buy. I don't expect anything to come around me unless I reveal. Um, but it is a match. Um, yeah, and I guess they don't know I don't have to blow next round, so... Uh, let's just do it. Let's just put three trips in. I, I I don't think that... I think only blue is incentivized to go in. Um, but with me behind him, I don't know if he wants to. Um, do I trash a Diplo or do I trash a Dune? Um, The greedy line is a trash dagger, and let's just take the greedy line. <coughs> okay, nice. So sneaker reveals with five, six, seven. Yep. This is great for me. I I, I want to win this combat. I don't think that the other players are that incentivized to go in. This lets me have three to buy. I can get the operative or uh, prepare the way. I think both are fine. This setup by Sneaker is quite strong as well. Um, generally, you want to have both spies on board, and then he goes to. Um, unless he goes secrets once he, put, he buy, puts a spy on. Yeah, he has so many spies on board already. So um, I'll just go to secrets. I don't want any of these yet. I think so. I think secrets is the better play. I'm prepared to buy a prepared away as well. It's it's not uh imp it's not something that I, that I think that's too far fetched. This is a good card. In this Northern Watermaster. Yep. So we've got anything you want you want to have is um, two position cards and the ones you're looking at is prepare and calculus. Calculus is very good now. Um and I will I will purchase it. Yeah, and then I will end my turn. So I have two Solari and a mouse which lets me pair. The <coughs> I think the important part about this is um, looking at Solari and thinking how am I going to get to 6 Solari or yeah and the easiest way to do it is refinery <laughs> it's 
one easy as well. I want Arakin, I guess. Oh, yeah, I really want Arakin. Um, might give me enough for uh, into some trade as well. So yeah, so I have enough on the solar trade as well. Uh, uh, the question is, do you reveal early for it? Try to remember what um, Paul revealed for. I mean, that's that's the important thing to. So, so does Paul have a have a way to to get it this round? So, Paul had both daggers last round. Um, Paul had both daggers now, so I convincing. Um, how much could he be at? See what Paul does. If Paul goes like Paul's, I will really have to reveal. Right. Paul plays ring, I have to reveal as well, I think. He bought Watermaster. So it's 2 2 1 1. There's no way he can get up to 7, right? Two two one one, yeah. I mean, the most he gets up to is six. So I should just play greedy and just try to get an intrigue now. Intrigues are very strong. Uh, other than that, I could try to get uh, draw a card, but I don't think drawing card and getting a target contract is very good. Um, let's let me place a spy on blue. I'm fine with. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't win this combat. Um, Shut up, gets it. It's very good for him. I don't see. Unless fate does something strange. I mean, fate could have swords and pull a spy. So watch, watch fate in in that regards. Oh. You can see Fate really has two spies blocking the good spy. Yeah, it's a strong play by Lenny. Let Lenny let, let, let does this. To see if Lenny pulls us by. He doesn't. He's thinking about it. I guess he doesn't have a combat trick, so so he, no, he doesn't have one that he could use now. Oh, two dagger skins from Paul. Um, we all seven to buy by. There's eight, eight, actually eight to buy. Um, I have one more. Um, but with this, I also buy get a contract. Uh, which contract do I get? Deliver supplies or high console? Deliver supplies gets me to five solari. Um, yeah, I think deliver supplies is fine.
So he has three, no, he has one, two, three, four, five, five to buy. He puts a spy down. Um, yeah, his two, his two cards that he bought didn't, didn't amount to anything. Uh, pass. So I get a troop and one water. Not amazing by any stretch, but it's not not terrible. <sighs> Does he get the spice? Yep. I said the two cards I want to play are these two cards. These two cards are, are amazing for me. Alright, so I think completing two Solari is very strong. Um, and if green doesn't deploy, which I think he would, I can choose to deploy with Diplo. Um, yeah, so Interstellar Trade lets you get a bump, so I will go to accept contracts. And I will accept this contract, gives me two Solari, and then I'll take a faction bump. It's highly unlikely I'm going to Benedrezer, and I do want to get Benedrezer friendship. I think it's unlikely that I want to go. Yeah, I'll take the Benny bump. This is both spies. Oh no, good spy isn't as insane anymore. In uprising, there's a lot of like counterplay, like someone does this, then you do this. Right. So I see what how much persuasion green has, and after I counterplay it accordingly. I guess I have seven slurry. Not good for either of us. So I could try in two troops. Not amazing by any standards. This gives me six to buy. Two water. <coughs> I'm just gonna fulfill the contract and hope something good happens. Um <coughs> Yeah, there's not been no slur in this game. Uh so I have a ring here. Ready trash the dagger. He doesn't put in more no he can't put in more troops. Pretty sure fate will pull the spy. You probably take the Fremen cards, right? Double HM. Double HM is decent, but I think at this point I just want two position cards. The question is why one make us keeper. Cards that one in my deck, right? It's just kind of one cards that get me to a spice must flow. Um, and most of the time it's a prepare, but I think I can hitch this way. I don't like trade and darkness, even with like payoffs. Um, 
Do I need yellow access? No. I think I can just take two and okay, I'll just be done with all like the cheap cards. I think the likelihood that I play Maker's Keeper then try and Darkness is, is too tiny. Like, and if if that's the case, then I must well have a have a sister that I'm uh, prepared away that I'm always glad to have. Combat. Frank, uh, Seeker, Seeker gets the bigger reward, I think. Okay, combat. Um, yeah, just resolves. Easy combat for Lenny. Like he sees everyone, especially with everyone that we know in tricks. I think they, you know, can figure out that. I, I too have to. I too have no tricks. <sighs> I guess Swordmaster here is the best thing to do. This is round four. Um, I could get high console as well. But I think if I get high console, the game goes a bit slow. Yeah, let me play a slightly more proactive game. I could I could mess with him and just take high console instead. Yeah, I could just take high console instead. <laughs> take the two spice. Put in three troops. So, uh, the one reason I'm not thinking about Swordmaster now is that Swordmaster gets cheaper for the next player, and I don't really want Sneaker to get it this round. Um, I could take the two spies. Three troops in. Get a contract. Get a contract. I think getting second place here or getting first place here is very good. So you know what? Screw it. One troop in. Hmm. I, li I like this. It, it, it tempos out Shadam as well. So let's say Shadam like plays two actions and doesn't get Solari next round, then I, then I can always like. <laughs> yeah, it just, just makes it awkward for Shadam. If, if I had like something else that active that I wanted to play, I'll definitely play it. But because I don't. This is better. 
No, I think I take that trend out. Yes. Yeah, it is quite a meh turn for me, but it's all about, I guess, what Sneaker's doing, right? I expect, I expect uh, Paul to highliner. Like there's nothing else to do with your spice. Yeah. Just highliner and kill the worm. If he doesn't have highlight access, then, then he does like it's a clear highliner, right? Just slam highliner here, like. Reels now. I just buy tra the trend darkness. This would have been the other one. Would have, this would have been way, way better for me, but. Fine, he has six to buy. <laughs> oh, this this uh, this is the situation you you hate to see. Um, someone gets a lot of spice, then this combat flips. So with this sword master dance, it's a bit. Strange now. Round five is quite late for Sword Master, but it's fine and all standards. I mean, if if like both blue and green don't get Solari, then I get then then I have a delay to second action. But if they do get Solari, then I then I then I'll grab it straight away. So one thing about this combat, uh, some some players really rate this combat very very highly. Um, I think Lannister will be one of them, and then Frank will be the other. So I, I expect Frank to like deploy heavy. Uh, I expect everyone to deploy really heavy this combat. And so in this case, I will first get Swordmaster, draw a card, and then I end my turn. Uh, I don't think I think there's a dagger. No, it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Convincing. Yeah, it's a convincing. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I play this to draw. If I play this draw, I'll be at 9 position. Then after that, 
if I don't hit my dagger, I'll be at the Spice Must Flow. Round 5, that's pretty good. I expect Green to put in a Sandworm. But I don't know if a sandworm is enough now. Yeah. So. There's a few ways I can go about this. I can try to play these two, right? And then. I might have enough for Spice of Slow. Yeah, let's, let's do it this way. I, I draw a card, play the Spy. Um, sp so this is what, 7 by. If. Yeah, I just not need to not hit the dagger. Yeah. He does this, right? I need to hit two position. If I want to hit two position, I need to draw any two cards that are not dagger, and I, or I can hit like any of these two, three cards. Um, and so I can go arrow keen and, and still be pretty safe. I mean, the, the worst is dagger in one position, but if it happens, it happens, right? And then you just kind of play accordingly. Ah, <sighs> now I'm short one position. Um, very awkward. Yeah, the worst happens, right? I drew one position and the dagger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I don't even think there's a way that I can get. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I may just take a bump here. Remove a card from the Imperium Row. Tough. Oh, I should have deployed. Oh, yeah, I should. Uh, tough. Uh, this eight, eight to buy. Just purchase this, and So, Lenny played Table Blocker, it's now round 6. <sighs> for me to set myself up for combat, I need Spice and a Spy.
Hmm. So, think about <laughs> this combat or the next combat. I think drawing two cards is good. I don't think I need to draw like an insane amount. Um, I also don't really need to deploy first. So I'm gonna pull a spy here. Let's see if I have this right, it's 6, 7. Still need to draw. Better later, but oh, I think getting in a worm now will be very, very strong. But I can't stop him from getting in a worm as well. So I should play towards my spice muscle, I think. <coughs> yeah, I just chuck in three troops. The combat flips very badly. I, I think like Shadam and Paul are in, like going to fight each other well. on how many troops there. And depends on how many troops that Paul puts in. But 
Definitely puts in a worm, right? Don't see him not putting in a sandworm here. but no real point to um I think I just get a water here I don't need to draw um yeah I'm missing the spice of the last round is very painful Yeah, the special for last, this last one was really painful. Okay, buy a special slow. Then I end. Then I end my turn. Um, combat happens. Frank is supposed to act. This is high console salary. <coughs> Very scary. So, in here if I double draw, I do get a... Uh, and, and I trash this, I will find myself a double bump here. And so... I guess the question is, do I need to... Well, let's say if I draw two... Then I will have five position, six position, not great, right? I win this combat. I I definitely could. I think I definitely could. Can deploy four more. Then I can get Sadaka as well. Yeah, I think I I, I think I try to win this combat. This gets me a water and a spice. This may puts in four troops. <coughs> I mean, even if this is one point for me, I still I still try to get it. I don't even care if it's just one point. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, that's a very big highlighter from Lannister. And how I can try to break the wall? I can... I can break wall and... How many points would that get me? That would get me... One point, two points, three points. Oh, that got me three points. Is it enough? I have to believe it's enough, right? So then I start putting high enough with 14 troops. Yeah, I have to, I have to think that it's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's three points. I have to try for this three points. Twelve strength, right? Twelve strength plus intrigue. Then I can trash. I get twenty-three strength. I don't think Lannister can beat me with just <laughs> one intrigue. And he needs to highlight, right? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, I didn't plan for this, but the. The pathway opened up because the other players are avoiding combat. Yep, I, I, I think I can beat one combat card. I think I can beat one combat card. Okay? What's there to do? That's not like, not great as well. Um, is it triple bump to stop me? Definitely quit. Lenny's to get out, Lenny can deploy more troops. 
Where did I get my strength? Pull a spike. Two swords. 16, 23. No, he doesn't. Even if he pulls a spy. Five swords in. Not many five swords. Right? Four swords in hand. No, maybe three swords in hand. No. <coughs> Says he can't beat me. Go to screw with me. I'm going to join the Discord call now. Sorry, I was recording this video. So I muted Discord. Three, Even if I was trying to trap, I don't win. Um, I mean, Eric Keane, I have this, right? So why would I need Eric Keane? Like, I really needed this, though. I can cycle my garbage. I mean, I don't have anything. I, I can't get another point. I guess. I mean, if you, if you have spring to trap, then... Still enough, because I need anything. to draw it. I got, and I'm gonna draw it here. Oh, no spring to trap. I pass. Uh, oh, look. Three daggers. Lenny. Lenny. Nice out. You drew this shit four times. It's incredible. Yeah. You reset the deck and you still draw it out of 20 cards. Yeah. I didn't draw this round. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually planning for Imperial Privilege Line. It's just that. When you passed on this and Lenny passed on 
and, and Lenny was set up for Highliner, it just looked like the combat was takeable. I was planning to like Sadaka and get this point and... I was actually trying to step aside and give it to Frank because he's so far behind us, I couldn't afford to let him have it. Let you guys duped out and just do my own thing. Yeah, but you went high console to... first, right? Just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't go. I know. Uh, I had to work on Frank's in the other combat. It's just part of this. Yeah. Every time I went in, it was like 10 people went in. Alright, this one just. Unfortunately, my first action was to grab this place. This is scary. So, I don't know the play. I, I said first first round red, I said with seven cards on uh, in play and I knew that I had a five frustration with the last three cards. And then uh, there's like this roll you have to buy from, right? And to make it every, every like to make it all better, next hand I draw the three cards and double dagger. Yeah, the double dagger was funny. Double dagger, double dagger. <laughs> I had a double dagger again after that because I didn't reset the deck. So it was like first three rounds of double dagger. You guys down to run it back again? I should take a break.